cut it. Placement pieces and put them in one at a time and see how this goes. Alright. So, I welded in the new support. Now I'll have to come around. So weld in the piece here. And then I can weld in this piece here close it in so I can go back to in welding the internal pieces and close it all up there's a few pieces I need to make over here because the rust turned out to come back further so took care of that had to extend and then wedge it so it comes from here to here which is basically how it was done originally except they curved a nice sm smoother curve instead of a sharper turn but it'll work the same I'm not trying to do a full restoration I'm just trying to uh, make my own beast of a car that I'm going to enjoy driving so it doesn't have to look like it did when it rolled off the factory so so far that's where I'm at So, I was welding and I'm blowing through the sheet metal, and I was trying to figure out in my amateur ways why I'm doing that. And it turns out that I'm using 1 8 rod, 6011. 6011 is what I want to use because it goes through rust and paint. And you can see 6011, but I dropped it down to 330 seconds. Not much more of a drop, but Frankenstein here has now welded without blowing through the sheet metal where I welded it so I'm actually starting to get a car put back together I like it I don't care I'm gonna just grind out a little bit to where the trunk lid won't interfere with the welds and I'm gonna leave it there that's that's about all I'm gonna do because this guy right here he don't care he just wants to go for a ride. So that's where we're looking right now. You know? Huh. Huh, Bax. What do you think, Bax? You think, you think it's turning out alright? I think so. I don't care what anybody else thinks, because I'm going to be driving it, and I'm going to be liking it. And you're going to be riding in it, and you're going to be liking it. All right.